butter, no Billy Jean. Bro, off, let the titty lean. I derm a little bitty bling. I'ma need you to boss up. That half a grind is gon' cost us. Far from easy, be cautious. You wanna get a room? I want an office. I ain't tryna just sit and chill. Sit and chill, don't pay the bill. Breathe the fine print, still a deal. That's fresh prints, pay the feel. You gon' get it till you level up. You always down, you ain't never up. Call God, nigga, hang the devil up. Go harder, what the fuck is better? Real life street stars, we here with butter go harder. Uh, hey, yeah. uh, as I like to say, the leg up killer. Hey, leg up and it touched the roof. It touched the roof. <laughs> How does one get the leg up killer moniker? Uh, the what? Okay. How does one get that that name? The leg up killer. I mean, you know, one can't get it but one, and that's me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't for everybody, you know. I'm the original. It actually started, I was really, you know, y'all can't see now, but I, I'm real tight on my foot game, and I like to show my shoes. So, you know, the lighting is the best. The car lighting is the best lighting. So I really started just trying to show my shoes in the car, and I couldn't do it. So I just kicked the leg up, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, go down. Yeah, see what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, so it really just started accidentally. Then, you know, the leg just got up, people caught on, the numbers went up, print pop every now and then, and hey, I'm just the leg up killer, man. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. For everybody that don't know, Def Dunn, Stupid, been living up on the rock. Tell them where you from and how long you been doing music. All right, well, I was actually born in Birmingham. I moved to Detroit, Michigan, Washington, D.C., but I've been in Dallas since I was 10 years old. East Dallas, that is, the Grove a little bit, but the original East Dallas. I've been doing music since I was, I've been writing since I was 13. Yeah. 15, I got my first record deal. Dropped my first album at 17, went on tour when I got out of high school. You know what I'm saying? Started trying to, didn't know nothing about the business, really, but yeah. I just know I had the passion and the craft. So I've been in this second nation. Nah, definitely, I gotta ask, man, the name, Butter Go Harder, man. How does one come across that name, man? That's Baby, one is just the one is me, Butter Go Harder. All right, so actually, uh, when I first started rapping, I had a couple of more nicknames, and it just, I had to let them go for various reasons. I, want, I didn't want to limit my audience. So I said, okay, well, what am I gonna call myself? My real nickname is Butter. My family named me that when I was a baby. And I was like, okay, that's cool. But it's like crack too. It's hard. It's dope. It's raw. So I yeah. thought that was me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But see, when I went online and I started looking, I'm like, damn, I thought it was unique until I saw like 50,000 butters. Yeah. So, okay, what can separate me? So I'm like, okay, I need an email address. So I, my email address was Butter Go Hardest. And I actually used to go by Butter the 214 Stallion. I dropped the stallion. Mm. Yeah. That's my okay. first. My first album was like 20 solo. It was 2012. And that was. 20, the 214 stallion. So I dropped it when I found out the stallion was a horse, a male horse. So I dropped that. But anyway, so I started telling people just to Google Butter Go Harder, which is the email address to get them to the right butter, because this <laughs> butter go harder. And instead yeah. of them just respecting it as an email address, they just started calling me that in, in public. Like, this butter go harder. And I had to tell them, no, I'm just butter. Butter go harder is the email address. No, you butter go harder. You go harder. And <laughs> so, you know, you can't really defeat the enemy. You can't defeat people, so I like fuck it. I'm gonna run with it, and that's what it's been ever since. That's real. Now I gotta say, um, as far as myself uh, catching on to you, man, uh, uh, 97.9 had uh, hit us up and said, man, y'all gotta get this female in, man. She go hard. I'm like, you know, who is it? Like, wow. boom, they sent the Instagram, and this was a song that I think you had uh, called Earn Up or some, you know, uh, early up in the year. Uh, Earn Up, Level Up. Yeah, level but I up. Had a song called Earn Something too. Earn Something, that's what it was. Earn Something. Okay. Yeah, so they that was back when they put me on. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, we definitely got a highlight to go in. And uh, of course, speaking to you as far as the way we were supposed to have got you in mm -hmm. was uh, R.I.P. Hawatha. You know what I'm saying? He had a. Yeah, uh, he had shot you out to our, my nigga Charlie Mo saying, y'all need to highlight this female, man. Uh, yeah. And he. He was talking about your music skills, but also the fact that you just got hands in general. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like y'all need to holler at this female. And uh, of course, you know, uh, you know, we lost Hawatha, you know, yeah, uh, untimely him. death. He was definitely a solid one. You know, that's interesting because um back to the ninety seven nine, this is why I tell myself, no matter what you go through, how because I know we all get frustrated in this game. I know I do. You know what I'm saying? You get frustrated and like, man. Am I wasting my time? What am I doing it for? Like, is it time up to stop and all that? But it's like, you just never know who you touching, who you affecting, who watching you. Everybody not gonna tell you, of course. And we see Thanks. people and we ain't telling them, but we see them, you know what I'm saying? So 
that's very motivational to hear because I had no idea, and I still honestly don't even know who you're talking about. Exactly. But that, but that's that means real. a lot to me. As far as Hawatha, man, rest in peace to him. He was so solid. I've been knowing Hawatha since I was in the seventh grade. You man. know what I'm saying? And I met him not through music. Hawatha was a blood. You know, everybody know, actually, I used to go by Bloody Mary, and I'm OG in Dallas. Like, you've been on the rock, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I got to change my name. I don't want to live in my audience. But, yeah, and I was just really known for just, like, Fighting, that was my thing. Like, I, I boxed a lot of people. Man, I give you $10. Go drop them, man. This bitch talking shit. Give you $10. $10, <laughs> I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's what I was just like. I was like, okay. So, I what's your record? Energy somewhere else. What's your record? What's my record? Yeah, with the oh, hands in the oh, street. Oh, two piece to three piece. I ain't never been dropped. <laughs> I, ain't, I mean, that's the truth. <laughs> I'm saying it can't happen. But <laughs> hey, what's. What's the worst you ever dropped somebody where you like, damn, she she ate that motherfucker? You said it was the worst? What's the worst you ever had to drop somebody? Like, the worst you've seen them just eating, ate it? Shit, I ended up in juvenile. She couldn't have oh, yeah, left yeah. ear. <laughs> she got arrested six for months. Shit. <laughs> no, I'm not proud of that. Yeah, you nah, but. Shout out to uh, Judge Cynthia Allen. She's still going hard. I just saw somebody post her on Facebook, but shout out to Clay Rodham, my homeboy out of East Dallas. He posted a picture of her. She just got my job. But that was my juvenile lawyer. Yeah, but I'm not proud of it. No, 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 no. You can I'm flip. Just asking, you know, nobody's proud of it. You know. <laughs> we was all young at one point. You know, but it was fun, though. You know what I'm saying? It was fun. I grew up with just brothers. My daddy raised me single, so I was, you know, I used to get punched in the stomach by my brother for no reason. Like, he, it's his fault. You know what I'm saying? You it's say your daddy fault. raised you? Like, my father, rest in peace. My yeah. father raised me. So. That's interesting because we've been having this discussion about T.I. talking about he went to his daughter's gynecologist and asked had her hymen, it let him know if her hy- she didn't have her hymen anymore. If it was broke? If it was broke. Yeah. Do you think that's extreme as a father or what do you think? To ask to find out if your daughter got her hymen broke or not? <laughs> oh, ooh. Um... I don't know. My daddy ain't never here. You know what? I was slick though, so I don't know. I think it, it might be extreme, like. But you know what? Maybe un- unnecessary, because actually some females are born without hymens. Oh. Did you know that? So even if you, that. you know, so if it's broke, she probably never had one. It's not a guarantee that she had a hymen, but that's kind of not a dude. That's kind of. I mean, I just I always know. I said How like. How old was she when he did that? Well, she's eighteen now. And he I going don't. to the gynecologist asking this her hymen broke. Well, you know, I be I'm because I'm like I, I got a daughter too. I saw like I was telling somebody I know I know every strand on my daughter's head. Like that's my like nigga. And yeah. I just said if my daughter fucking, I'm just gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask no fucking doctor. I mean, is you fucking? Is that what we doing? It's best to you know what I'm saying put on some birth control <laughs> pills or something. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she don't need to know that she on it or something. Because let me tell you something. You could be the best parent like. But peer pressure is a motherfucker. Like Amen. Peer pressure is a motherfucker, and you, you like, people going to do what they want to do or what they think they want to do until they actually experience it. So, right. I don't know. Man, I'm so you've been in the rap game for a long time. You've been doing this shit. Like, you legit, like, a veteran out here with the music. Um, okay. And you've, you've lived through the boogie era, all that shit. So, with the new, with the new, emergence of female rappers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how does it feel, like, on the Dallas scene, on the Dallas level, like, how do you feel about that? I mean, first of all, uh, salute to the whole industry, all the females that's, you know, out here doing their thing, because it's definitely not easy. You know, we got we got a fine line to, to, to walk on. You can cross over it easy. You can be under it easy. And so anybody that's out here getting any type of recognition, then that's all fine and dandy. But to be honest, um, it's nobody that's really, really moving me mm. as far as the females in Dallas. Now, and that's not, you know, shooting them down, but they just not, because you got to understand, like you said, I've been in the game for a while. My favorite rappers are, become the females, I'm, and I'm going to stick to this till I'm gone, it's Mia X. Yeah. Shauna, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, I, and I'm real critical with music. So it's like nowadays, it don't even matter. For the most part, it seems like what you're saying and as long as you look good. You know what I mean? And so nothing, I mean, maybe I'm under a rock, you know. I don't know, but nobody just. No, nah, I feel you. And, you know, uh, I think you had the song that uh, was called, uh, I don't know if it was Butter About It or Heart About It, where you uh, basically took me X yeah. and flipped the shit. Shout out to those. 
Yeah, man. Uh, Part when, about it. Yeah, yeah. When you Part when you rapping and you following someone like me, X, and you you know you delivering that that shit, that shit that you know I used to grow up to as far as music wise. Mm -hmm. To see these females, um, I think uh, who was it? Uh, uh, JD, uh, the producer JD, that had a females to call them stripper rappers, whatever. Oh, where yeah. they just out there just kind of sell shit and you know this whole you know this whole era, or whatever. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? That ideology of female artists, as far as just out there trying to, you know, sell their body, Bob's like, you know, you know, basically what he was talking about. You know, what right. I'm saying, what's your commentary on that? Well, I don't have nothing really negative to say about it because honestly, everybody responsible for their own life. You got to get it how you live. You know there what I'm saying? Go. It ain't no, it ain't no instruction book out here. People got bills to pay, and just this, just because they're a stripper, don't mean that they don't have a, a rapping talent. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you just gotta, I mean, if they finessing and they getting through and they sound good, salute to them, but I don't think it's a reason to just like knock them because they strippers, now they wanna rap. You don't know if they been rapping or if they, you know, been trying to rap, but hey, they figure, hey, I can dance too, let me make some money and then put my money into rapping, so I don't knock them for that. And it ain't no different from guys talking about they selling dope and then, but if that's what they did, that's what they did, and it, what's the difference, like? There you go, rap so, your life, you know, man. Either, either make a change, you know what I'm saying, or shut up is how I feel about it, like. I don't. Definitely, definitely, man. I got to ask you, you know, you're not, you know, you're very easy on the eyes. So Thank you. walking into a studio, how many Stevie J sessions, I mean, how many Stevie J type situations? Many, I thought you were going to say T.D. Jakes. I'm no, like, Stevie J oh. type situations have you been in where <laughs> a producer, engineer just really try to shoot a shot at you? I get that all the time. <laughs> Every day. I get, that all, I get that all, all the time, but. I don't knock them because, you know, you ain't going to know until you try. So I don't knock nobody for trying this. Something, but I, I get that all the time. But you have to know how to decipher it, you know, decipher, hey, how far are we going to go? I done been in so many situations to where. <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh at it. Because you look like you've been a fire. You know, <laughs> like, what you come with? But I mean, yeah, but honestly, I get that all the time now. I give warnings. It depends on how far you go. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. nothing wrong with flirting and nothing wrong with shooting your shot. You're not going to know unless you shoot your shot. But if you keep shooting your shot and you you never hit in the net, you know what <laughs> I'm saying? Then it's time to stop shooting. Or Air ball. You need to go in another sport. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and go play another sport somewhere else. So That's real nice. Speaking of shooting your shot, man, you know, you know your gram ain't for kids, man. You you know, you kind of be putting it out there on the gram as far as someone wanted to jump in your DM, let's say. What's the most flagrant <laughs> shit you've seen in your DM? What's the most flagrant shit someone throwing in, throwing in your DM? You know what I'm saying? Trying to holler at you. Um, What's the most fucked up shit you seen? DMs, you know. Okay, so listen. I call it, you know, people be getting lucky. So it's it's, it's crazy. Not for real. It's, it's amazing that I ran into the right kind of business in my DM. Because I always say, like, if you really want to do business, go ahead and hit the contact on my page. Get to my, M, my email. Because the DMs, to me, stands for dick messages. <laughs> <laughs> big messages because that's like 80 percent of what comes through there i mean that's real and sometimes it's cool i mean sometimes it just depends on how i'm feeling you know you're like oh i needed this one time you know and then sometimes oh so have you ever entertained a dm <laughs> like i'm gonna just shoot back no nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna play with I this nigga right like that shot like that but um no I haven't. I mean, well, I've said nice, nice one or something like that, but just like to, <laughs> just like to. Man, you, I bet you made, you I probably mean, made a nigga day. You never, that nigga, nigga went to work with a whole different yeah, walk. And I've said nice one. Don't oh. give me two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> you know, it's cool. You gotta take some courage. Yeah. You know what I mean? So man, I appreciate she, she, it. Man, you the real one. Cause man, they made that shit against the law. You know how much courage you take? To, to do some, that. <laughs> yeah, to do that. So I appreciate it. But if I tell you enough, that's enough. Don't keep waking me yeah. up with this. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not growing. It's the same one that you already sent. I already got that. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> we got to ask. We ask all the beautiful ladies that come here. And all the ladies we interview are always beautiful. But we always ask, does a regular nigga have a shot? I like regular niggas. Now, when we but say... What's your definition of regular? Because I oh, just... No. I just... I just finna run it down to you. Nine to five, overnight stocking. I like nine to five, yeah. Okay, you know, 
got the uh, Malibu. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he kind of got a little swag, but not that much. He his shoe game kind of off. He got a lot of black forces. Gas in your tank. You ain't gotta use premium. Right. I like those. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Depends on the price. We're going to be 87 today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course they do. Actually, because I've, I've talked to, you know, people in different tax brackets. And it's not really. Actually, the ones that I don't like arrogant niggas. And really, yeah. it's like the more money you got, the more arrogant you are. And I, I don't care. I don't, you'll get on the reject list real fast. Like, and, you know, y'all yeah, like regular niggas. That's real, that's real. And they got steady schedules, so I know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know what the fuck going on. I know where you supposed to be. Man, and you know, my nigga Jeff always asks, uh, what's the pettiest shit that you've ever taken out of, from a, a relationship? The pettiest shit? Or that you've either taken done? or that you've done? Took uh, uh, one of the shoes, but not two. <laughs> Uh, the favorite shoe, <laughs> nigga. Hey, you know how hard it. Hey, nigga, be looking for a shoe, knowing he yeah. left it right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't find that fucking shoe. I've taken <laughs> that shit. That shit. That shit's off. Of your, of your favorite shoes, the ones you really like. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I wanted to get to know you, you know, through your music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. What song do I need to listen to that's gonna best describe your personality or you as an individual? Well, if you're trying to get to know me and try to get really personal, then you need to listen to Vibing on You. Because on that song, I pretty much say the type of dude that I'm attracted to or things that move me. And it's not much. I'm real simple. Like, So that would definitely be it. It would be Vibing on You. And let's say I was going through something like some uh, situations or something, and I was in a, and my vibe was fucked up, and I needed to, something that was going to lift my spirits. What song would you, would you, would you recommend from you? Um, what you going through? Is it relationship stuff? If it is it is it just financially? Some, it could be anything. Just something that's gonna get it. That's something that I just have you depressed. Something that had you fucked up. Man, level up, level up. You gotta level up. The way you think, gotta level up. The way you move. If you ain't trying to lose, you gotta level up. Like pick yourself back up. Yeah, level up. That's that's a lit motherfucking song. Thank you. And uh, speaking of you know attraction and things like that, could you could you date an artist a rapper? Man. I've never dated um, any Dallas rappers. I've tried to yeah. date DJ. Um, huh? <laughs> Is that try to DJ? Yeah, but I haven't. I haven't dated. I haven't dated any. I haven't really dated any rappers. And you know, it's funny because I tell my partners the worst thing to do is to date a date a rapper because the moment it go left. Every song dedicated, the whole album dedicated to you, goddammit. But see, in the flip side of that, the people I have dated, they not rappers, but I do put my emotions into my songs, and they be like, you wrote that about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know music, you just put the song on, you ain't got to say nothing. Be like, it's right. a song, what is you talking about? But, nah, I, I just, and I don't want my name just out there like that. So I really, I haven't dated a rapper. Yeah, but but a move smarter, goddammit. That's what Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so. Man, what are some of the, uh, who are some of the artists, speaking of, uh, that you would like to work with that uh, you see kind of making moves that, you know, would probably uh, line up with your moves? That I would like to work with? Yeah, if anybody you want to do a future this with. This motherfucker here, who she think she is? Eh. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, and it ain't got to be local or nothing, just, you know, as far as just artists that's, that moves you musically that you want to work mean, with. I mean, I've worked with a lot of artists, actually, that's, here that's not here um i would yeah. like to work with c loco again oh damn um, that's so dope. i did some music with him i would love to work with him because i i love his style his voice his yeah. aura his personality he humble he cool he so i would like to work with him again we actually about to work again um other than that i mean one day maybe i'll work with mia one day i see they on tour shout out to uh big yeah. clint he just did his website and as soon as you go on there he managed them managed silk they on tour and, and he got my face on there first uh. So it's very possible, but I'm just not too big. Shout out to the baby. He like my new favorite artist right okay, now. Okay, yeah, he he capturing but, fans. You know. And you know, it's funny, Mia X, uh, she just recently got, uh, I think she became a teacher at NOLA University. Oh, um, really? I didn't know yeah. she was cooking. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's like. Um, I just think she dope. I yeah, it's like, 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 
doing music is like just a small part of a, an artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Yep. What other things that you would like to do, get into as far as once your career grows and, you know, you've got this music game on lock right. as far as branching off, doing other things? Um, I'm into fashion a lot. So okay, I yeah, like, I see, um, I see. Designing. Yeah, even now I get some stuff just from the store and then I just turn it to mine. I splash bleach on it, rip it up, just turn it to a whole different something. So um, definitely something with fashion. Um, I have my own spray, my own room spray. Got to re-up, buttergoharder.com. Okay. Um, you know, just acting maybe. I act a lot. That's so. <laughs> real. Does, it, does um, that come easy or you feel like, because, you know, sometimes people want to be a method actor, get into it, but some people just naturally. I think I'm natural. All right. I think I, think I could be a natural. Yeah. But yeah. whatever, you know, whatever the doors open up, real estate, whatever going whatever going to feed and I going, you know, run me into the ground from a heart attack. That's real. That's real. Man, level up is moving right now. I got to ask as far as, you know, we're we're in the fourth quarter in 2019. Uh how are you going to end out this quarter? Uh, any more singles coming up and as far as 2020 coming? I know that, you know, the landscape is open, you know, it's wide open for you. So what's the plans? I'm really getting ready, geared up for um, first quarter 2020. I'm going to drop new music then. But as far as the end, I'm running it. I'm, I'm running with this last quarter. I'll be in Atlanta this weekend. I'm nominated for awards down there. Uh, so shout out to I signed myself. So I'll be in Atlanta. I'm just going to promote everything I have now. And um, I'll probably be on the cup. I just got on another mixtape with DJ E-Dub. Shout out to him in Ohio. Um, and my song Level Up is running on rotation on 94.3 in Mississippi. So shout out to Lex Luga. So I'm just going to end the year and just keep pushing, keep pushing. The footwork not going to stop, but I am gearing up for first quarter. But yeah, you know, the months ain't going to change. The, just because the day change don't mean the grind going to change. You know what I mean? So. Uh, since you are the leg up killer, have you ever kicked somebody in the head? Like, have you, can you kick, like, how hard can you kick? Being the leg up killer, like, could you could you roundhouse kick somebody? Uh, we both probably get roundhouse kicked. Shit, I probably <laughs> end up kicking myself too. I mean, if I need to kick, him, I can kick him. That's what I need to do. If I see you getting too close, you know, something wrong with my hands or something. But um, I don't just I don't just run around trying to roundhouse. No, shit. I, ain't, I ain't street fight. I'm the leg up killer. You know, I ain't trying to leave. But shit, you, know, you might be. Shit, you never if know. If need be, you know. <laughs> Man, leg up killer, man. You got to make sure them toes right, man. How often do you begin uh, your Petty and Manny? Um, I keep my feet right. Yeah. I keep my feet right. I got on tennis shoes now, but, uh, you know, the winter time, people are supposed to keep their feet right any time, but the winter time. You get some leeway. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Like, you know what I'm saying? You kind of, because you ain't like you just showing your toes all the time, but even if, you know, you can soak them and do them yourself and, like, clip them and scrub them and stuff, so. Mm-hmm. You want to suck this polish off or something? <laughs> <laughs> you say 80% <laughs> who shoot they shot. I'm just mad. <laughs> Does Butter Go Harder want to be loved or feared? Loved or feared? Both. Because I want to be loved, but I want you to fear that if you don't love me right, then you're going to lose me. I was thinking more and fans. Vice versa. But I, I was thinking. I, I was thinking more about the masses, but I'm like, <laughs> she said, told the I niggas. I don't think nobody really want to be feared. Shit, fear is a motherfucker. I mean, having power and, ha and fearful is. I'm gonna put that other word. Being powerful and having somebody to fear you. I think if that's what you're talking about, those kinds. Shit, of having things, but. power is not to be feared. Fear those who wield it. Speaking of power, man, you are probably feared already, though. I'm pretty sure I am, but you know what I'm saying? I asked for you to fear me, but that's real. Speaking of power, do you you watch that show? You probably don't even watch TV. You know what? I'm behind on power, <laughs> but really, I already don't watch a lot of TV. Nah, for real, grind grind, grind like too tough. Shit. What you gonna talk about? The theme song? Or you talk about ghosts? I I ain't gonna spoil shit. I ain't gonna talk about you shit. I mean, she might not know what happened, man. She might need to catch up. I don't know what's going on. See? I see a meme that's going around, See? though. They he shot Ghost. Ghost got oh, shot. No. Oh, I was talking about the one where they put her, pushed her girl head back or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah this ain't right here. We're just joking. Oh. So she, Ghost dead? Nah, nah. Ain't nobody said all that. Catch up, goddamn. Okay, I need to catch up. <laughs> catch up, I'm goddamn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Fuck power. You man, you don't need to watch that. You all that shit you do, all that good shit. That shit is for the mindless, the mindless yeah. masses looking at that shit all day. Yeah, like I'm behind. Like, what is the uh, what's the city that you like to go to where you you know like they show you the most love? Like you just love going to that city. Tennessee. Tennessee. Tell me why. Memphis, cause that's the reason. Like they show me a lot of love down there. Like I most of my award nominations come from Tennessee. That's I've been real. nominated, I think, over 20 times alone in Tennessee in the last three years. And I go down there. Tennessee is a musical state. Very period. true. So you go on Bill Street, it don't even matter if they don't know you from there or not. Like, people just out there. You got people right here singing. You probably got somebody playing an instrument here, somebody rapping here. And nobody's like, I don't want to hear it. Get away. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you, you got the look. They gonna really listen, and then if you sound good too, they gonna be fans forever. Like even now, I got some fans I I met, and I call them family now. Like in Tennessee, in the mall, just I, cause I go everywhere, and I yeah. just put my foot out there, and they stick to me with me to the core, like to the core. You know what I'm saying? But definitely Tennessee. Definitely, definitely. Uh, when Butter ain't making music, uh, what is a normal day for you? Butter is boring. <laughs> I mean. No, I ain't gonna sound boring. I'm okay, sound, I'm laid back. You know, when you done done everything, kind of, it's like, shoot, I'm just, I'm still living. Let me just chill. But um, when I'm not making music, I like, I'm, I'm a family person. So That's I right. like to, you know, be with my daughter, um, go to the movies, draw, write with her, sing with her. Just, I'm a, I'm a family person. I like the aquarium stuff like that. There you go. But. Getting out, out. I like to shoot pool stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you real cool. And I gotta ask, uh, when it comes to chilling, and you gotta pop on that Netflix and chill mode. What, what Netflix. type of what what type of show or movie <laughs> you putting on? You know, what was crazy is, um, I finally got my own Netflix account. <laughs> so you been borrowed like a month. Somebody, yeah, man, they start threatening. I got kicked out. Somebody kicked me <laughs> off the account. So I actually pay for it now, and so I. I make myself watch it. I'm like, shit, they finna charge another $13. I ain't watched but two movies this month. <laughs> that so, might be the pettiest thing you could take from a relationship, the Netflix account, Netflix goddamn. Netflix and chill, but I love scary movies and action movies. But here lately, I've been watching Karate Kid three days straight. Oh, damn. With the, Will Smith's son. Yeah. That is like, and I, I know it came out long ago, but I've been watch, I watched that three, I found the time these last three days to watch Karate Kid. Now, it's crazy you say that. I just watched it literally like two days ago. And I haven't seen it since it came out. Just me, neither. Bro, and I'm like, that nigga Jaden Smith got his ass kicked early on. I'm like, fuck, what's going it's on? It's so good. And I got a, d a daughter and a son. I called my son. I said, you need to watch Netflix Karate Kid. It's so good. He said, mommy, you took me <laughs> when it first came out. Like, I'm like, what? I did? <laughs> I said, you watching it more than Netflix me, goddamn. Karate Kid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, because if you say just Karate Kid, that could be the old one with yeah the the, the classic is that bruce lee nah it's uh mr miyagi mr, mr. Miyagi. miyagi yeah but yeah. ain't it good though it's good man i, I fast forward to the end but it's good you end, man. <laughs> you babe, yeah man i gotta ask you um how are you using social media to your benefit as far as with this music or just with your brand well we all know social media is like it, it's it's what it is right now so i use it however i can you know Nowadays, people want to see, they want to see you. Yeah. Whether you just, you know, making music, showing different sides of you, your looks. But any way I think of it, I use it. I mean, I may get up and just post a song. I may get up and show a different angle on my butt, but whatever, because at this she point. She said a different angle. Of, today, you're going to get the left side. God I damn. use it to, look, I pay for my Wi-Fi in the house, and I pay this highest AT&T bill. So I'm going to use my <laughs> social media. And my internet on there, however, it makes sense. Whatever. I don't really have a strategy all the time, you know. That's real. I just, whatever I think of, you know, I just be authentic. I try to be authentic without trying, which means just do you. Just do you. Don't worry about, you can't worry about, you know, what everybody think all the time or so-and-so doing this, do this. I just, sometimes I get up and just do stuff. It, nah, really definitely, man. That's, that, way. that in itself is worse to live by, um. Uh, speaking of social media, man, for those that want to get at you, man, want to see what the music's like, want to follow you, uh, not the, you know, not so much in the DMs, goddamn, <laughs> not, not so much in the DMs, but uh -huh. 
really do some uh, research. Tell them how can they get at you. Right. Okay. So on social media, I'm on all social media sites at Butter Go Harder. Um, that's B U T T A G O H A R D. Or if you want to do business and music, whatever hosting, I got stuff to host now. Then again, it's best that you hit contact on my IG, and that'll take you to my email. So again, everything is Butter Go Harder. I'm very simple. Butter Go Harder at Gmail dot com. Is it Yahoo too? Yes. Butter Go Harder at Yahoo dot com. You know all of that. Butter Go Harder. Everywhere and then just just shoot your shot. Nah, for real. Google, Google, butter go harder, man. Just type out the whole thing. Don't stop out. Don't stop on butt, please. <laughs> nah, it's real. Yeah. You got any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, man. I just want to shout out to everybody who ride with my movement. Period. Shout out to y'all for reaching out. Shout out to Cool Running DJs, the Dallas DJs that've been rocking with me. Shout out to Go DJ Trap. I want to give a special shout out to him because shout out Trap. He really, you know what I'm saying, most, I got a mixtape that's hosted by a whole nother DJ, Chill Will from Atlanta. Trap got it on, he uploaded it to his sites. Most, you ain't gonna find most DJs that's gonna upload another DJ. That's you know real. what I mean? That's like, real. Mixtape on their site, and it's nah. just him. So shout out to him. Um, shout out to, again, Mississippi Lex Luger, DJ Hype Man Crunk, Mr. E. Kong, <coughs> Fusion World Radio, everybody just ride with me, period. I really don't like naming names because i miss people but if i don't i feel like yeah, yeah. just follow me at butter go harder shout out to all my new followers that i get daily and if you're not following her do yourself a favor and do that because you missing a goddamn show for <laughs> real butter go harder in this bitch right now a veteran in, in this music shit in the dfw a real the real first lady of this shit Leg up Thank killer. You. If you're not familiar with that, just go to the uh, just hashtag Thank leg you. up killer. It's going. Is, is she touching the roof with it? And you already know how it go down. You are a real life street star. Yes. Salute. It's hit for the city, boy. It's a lot that we should be touching on. Now y'all used to the leg up picture in what y'all can be munching on, but y'all really tripping. We got the ball, so shoot the fuck is y'all. I had found it, but goddamn, don't shoot the comedian the rest of the city. Y'all niggas out here whining. With it, try to knock him off. I can't grind for that. Laws killing unarmed teams. Y'all ain't plot on them. We'll get the arm for that. East Spence running the boxing game. All up should be celebrating. Better change the circle if the people in it ain't pushing you to keep elevating. Do this shit here for C Strugs. The back crib, but nigga, she blood. Do this shit here for Papa P from the East to Keith Big B. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey. <laughs>